underwater robot in Siberia's Lake Baikal reveals hidden mud volcanoes and an active fault. And this is a picture of one of them, fragments of an underwater mud volcano photographed 372 feet deep in Lake Baikal. A robot deployed to the bottom of Siberia's Lake Baikal last summer captured footage of cracks and deformations caused by previously unknown mud volcanoes, and you can watch the discovery in the video below. The robot discovered scars left behind by eruptions of mud at depths of 340 to 540 feet in two locations, Malaya Kosa Bay and Goria Chinskia Bay, along the northwestern shore of the lake. Although scientists already knew Lake Baikal harbored mud volcanoes, the latest find sits uncomfortably close to a fault zone known as Severo Baikalsk or North Baikal, for, uh, Baikal Fault, which straddles the lake shore. Signs of recent eruptions at the bottom of the lake could indicate the fault is gearing up for an earthquake. Mud volcanoes are surface expressions of deeper geological processes and form as a result of slurries and gases erupting from below. Craters along Lake Baikal's northwestern shore mark cracks that run parallel to the Sever Baikal Fault and indicate the fault may be active according to an Oxiaria Lunina, the structural geologist and re senior researcher at the Institute of the Earth's Crust in the Siberian branch of the Russian Academy of Science, who participated in the discovery. In the North Baikal Depression, she said, which is limited by this fault, there have been strong earthquakes in the past. The two sites there where researchers deployed the robot, or Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, AUV, showed intensely fractured beds, blankets blanketed with clay, soft sediments and erupted deposits. In the northernmost uh, Goria Chinskia Bay location, where the footage was taken, Craters around 430 feet deep were overflowing with mud mass, indicating an eruption had occurred recently, according to a study published October 2023. The footage shows layers of rocks that were torn and forced up by eruptions of mud and gas and saturated fluids. Boulders appear to have been squeezed out from below, and the dust of clay, the dusting of clay and silt on top look disturbed and porous, the researchers noted in their study. Deeper in the Gorachinskaya Bay, around 525 feet below the surface, researchers spotted hundreds of small cone-shaped craters. They are everywhere compared, accompanied by brittle deformations of the bottom, they wrote in the study. The vents, which were two inches tall and across, were teeming with amphiphods amphipods and gastropods, while nearby hard surfaces hosted colonies of white sponges. As the AUV traveled to slightly shallower depths, it became apparent that the entire steep slope was densely covered with mud volcanoes. The researcher said, and the mud volcanoes normally would not form at such shallow depths because they require high temperatures and pressures. Mud volcanoes in Lake Baikal are typically fed by a gas hydrate, which are crystals of water and gas that form beneath bodies of water. Gas hydrates can become unstable in regions where tectonic processes are at play due to the additional heat that is created in Earth's crust. She said, Lumina said, but our findings could have another mechanism, small movements and earthquakes in the several by Kalsk Fault could cause slurries to rise up and erupt through the bottom of Lake Baikal, she said. And these fountains of mud and dissolved gases are likely to disturb the lake depths. It must be part of the Baikal ecosystem, she said. This is by such a par on live science. And you can see the videos of what the uh, uh, undersea robot did, found. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Bye. Patreon account, 
the daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.